Do you like my jumper? I mean, I know it's covered in cat hair, but I can't do anything about that because my cats love me. I'll talk more about this at another point, not in this video. Tips for your first day, take two. I don't even think I fully remember my first day on set, but I do know the night before that I was incredibly nervous. So I do hope that these tips kind of help you somewhat in getting through your first day. A lot of them I've already touched on in other videos, but I wanted to make a compiled list of things specifically for your first day, and that will help you continue on your journey throughout your career. Prepare everything you need a few days before, because when it gets to the night before, it might be too late to get everything together. You may have forgotten something, and then all of a sudden all the shops are closed and you can't get to that one thing that you need the next day. It's a really good idea to just be prepared as early as possible. Always have a pen, a marker, some paper, and a multi-tool on you. Doesn't matter what you do on set, those things are really helpful. You can store them in your pocket, you can put them in a pouch on your tool belt, you can put them in a bag on set, it, it doesn't really matter, just as long as they're on hand. And if you're prepared on your first day, that's gonna look really good on you. Speaking of preparedness, pack a go bag and have it in your car. Have a change of clothes, especially a change of socks, because if it does get wet and your socks get Get wet you're going to be cold. You could also pack medication, sunscreen, a hat, a phone charger. Just have everything to get you out of a sticky situation if you need it. Save the call sheet to your phone or print out a half size copy and take it with you. And while I'm saying that, read the call sheet as well. Don't just think it's just this one thing that I need to get the address and the call time on. There's a lot of valuable information in there and it's really good to be on top of that. In a video ages ago, one of you subscribers actually suggested saving it as a screenshot on your phone and then making that screenshot your lock screen so that you can access the information via the lock screen. Really clever idea, highly recommend. Speaking of documents, also keep a copy of the crew list on you because you never know when you're going to need that. The amount of times I've been on a job and I've forgotten the name of, let's just say the runner, and the runner has had a mag for the camera that we've needed quite urgently. And I've had to go through multiple channels to try and find out who this person is because I don't have their name or their contact details. Having the crew list would have really helped me there. Also, I find it physically impossible to remember everybody's name and even with the crew list, it is difficult, but it helps. Something that I think is really important, pack a snack because you never know when you're not gonna be able to get too crafty to get a snack. So if you maybe have forgotten to eat breakfast that morning, having a muesli bar stashed in your pouch might be a good idea. Wear dark clothing and make sure it's comfortable because your comfort is gonna make your day go so much easier. Wear comfortable shoes that have maybe insoles in them so you're not gonna be on your feet all day. You wanna take care of your feet and your back. Make sure they're dark because you wanna make sure that you blend in and you're not in any potential reflections. Trust me, it's a big deal. Leave with plenty of time to get there. I usually leave with half an hour buffer. This takes into account any traffic, uh, make sure that I'm able to find a park. And if I am early, I can go grab a coffee before I go in. If anything goes wrong, make sure you tell somebody. Don't just keep it to yourself. Make sure that you tell somebody if you've made a mistake. Trust me, owning up, best way to do it. If you don't say something, people are going to be more angry than if you do say something. If you say something and you say, hey, I'm sorry, I fucked up, I made this mistake, people are gonna be happier that you've done that and you've told them instead of just keeping quiet and then somebody else finds out that something has gone wrong or something is broken. That leads on to, if you don't know something, ask. Nobody's gonna care. You're there to learn. It's your first day. So you not knowing something isn't a problem. It's important to make sure things are done correctly so that nothing gets broken, nobody gets hurt. So if you don't know something, just ask. And if somebody asks you to do something over a radio or just in general, just confirm that you have heard what they say and you're going to go do that. Because especially if it's over the radio, how are they supposed to know if you're off doing that job that they've asked you to do if you don't respond. Do things quickly, but do them safely. I know that there's a fine line between doing things safe and doing things quick, but on a film set, things move very quickly and a lot of people don't really get how quickly it is until they get to their first day and realize how hard it is to keep up sometimes. You will get quicker at doing things. That's just something that's gonna happen with time. On your first day, just focus on getting things right. Focus on the process and then work on making things a little bit faster each time. Obviously, within reason. You gotta make sure you're safe, you gotta make sure everybody else is safe, and you've gotta make sure that you stick to the certain type of process because there are certain ways that we do things on film sets and that's just the way it is because it works the best 
for the rest of the flow of the day of the team. It's logical. And that's what it is. A career in film is about working together to get something done, but you've all got to work to the same process to make sure everybody is on the same page. Like I've said many times before, it's also about keeping organized. A part of that is not touching something that isn't a part of your department. If there's a pile of gear in the middle of the room, point it out to the person whose department it is. Don't touch it, don't move it, don't do anything with it because that's how things get lost. As much as I don't quite like people saying not my department, sometimes it is important. If it's not your department, don't touch it. If it is your department, clean up. And the last one, don't hover. There is always something to do. Don't hover behind the monitors. Don't stand there and watch the DP working like at a close range. You can watch from a distance, I guess, but not at a close range. There is hardly any downtime on a set. Sometimes there will be. Sometimes there will be moments where you're waiting around for something, but there is always something that you could be doing. There are plenty of moments in my job where I haven't really had much to do, but I found something to do. I've cleaned the truck. I've swept out some equipment cases. I've worked on making things a little bit easier for the future. I've maybe labeled some things a little bit of a different way so that it's easier to find. I've organized drawers in the truck. I've cleaned the equipment. There are things to do. So those were the tips that I thought were the most important tips. There are definitely plenty more, but these are things that you learn over time anyway. And I know that I've touched on these before in other videos, but I think it's important to compile them into one video about specifically tips that I think are more useful for your first day. So hopefully you found that helpful. Sorry about the changing light conditions. It looks nice on the monitor. I'm actually quite liking it. Maybe I might stick to this sometimes. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that video and I'll see you next time. Bye.